I got my hubby vacuuming. We're going to buy, we are going to go buy a real Christmas tree and I was going to vacuum, but look it. Hubby decided it, he would vacuum for me. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> buy a, a real Christmas tree and we're going to take you along so you can see as we pick our Christmas tree. And we went to Bath and Body Works yesterday. They had their $8.95 candles um, on sale and uh, we bought quite a few. So I'm going to share you, with you guys the candles that we bought. Alright, so let's go to buy our Christmas tree. I brought my little boy to pick a tree. <laughs> He wanted a real Christmas tree, so we're going to get a real Christmas tree. So here we go. We're going to get it at Home Depot. Smells good. That one's pretty. That's Hubby's ringtone. <laughs> that one's pretty. <laughs> and he's still wearing his pumpkin king oh. from Halloween. <laughs> Look at how pretty. Oh my god, it smells good. Okay, Anthony, you gonna pick your tree? Oh god. You guys <laughs> just picked it. <laughs> no, we did it. We're looking at him. I don't care what you think. I just We're just... to come along. I just tagged on like a little thing. It just has a, it has a big spot. On yeah, the see in the bottom it has a big old yeah, bald right spot. There. That's why it's still here. But it would be something like that. I miss when my kids were little and they used to come pick out the tree. This is what this is bringing back memories. At least one of them is here. That one's kind of just like straight up and down. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it doesn't even have the, the top. Yeah, doesn't have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just like... <laughs> no dice on the tree. No dice there. How about go to sleep tomorrow? Well, to tomorrow. That's maybe. what they said last time. <laughs> yeah, that's what they told us last yeah. time, and they still didn't have any. Yeah. So they keep on making excuses why they don't have that <laughs> tree. Hmm. We will have to try somewhere else. <laughs> liars. Some people are liars. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Lowe's now, looking up, not looking up, looking for Christmas trees. So, looks like they might have what we're looking for. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of them here. So, we could probably... <laughs> Alright. We're about to get ghetto since we think you're not filming. <laughs> do we want to do Douglas or do we want to do Noble? How are you feeling today, Matt? Are you feeling Noble? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let the let our little boy pick the oh, tree. Our little boy, 20 something years old. <laughs> Sorry, folks, we've never been in a forest. <laughs> Ooh, I'm falling over this tree right here. This one too. I, I like the. I like them both. Alright. Yeah, it just depends on the look. You have, like, these branches, you can tell this is a. Right. Yeah. And the noble is like this. Yeah. They're very pretty. They're both really, really pretty. Yeah, I was looking at this I don't one. know. It, it's hard to tell. Well, this one yeah, is we 50. Can, we can have them open. There's our Christmas tree. And I picked up some scraps. Maybe I might, I might make a wreath or something. But here's our Christmas tree. Those Scrooges didn't, uh, or Grinches didn't affect us. What? <laughs> at the drive through window. Uh -huh. he, was pull, he was pulling, if you've ever seen Toy Story, he was pulling one of those moments where, hey, Woody! Because all you saw was the arm. He was pretty rude. Yeah, he, he, was, was rude. he was pretty rude. So was the guy, though, that was cutting the tree for, for this right here, the, our Christmas tree. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the one in Jack in the Box was extremely yeah. rude. Out of all that rudeness, look, we still got a tree and a half because my <laughs> wife was going to take some trimmings. And we got the whole trunk, almost. <laughs> Yay! Christmas tree! Oh, Christmas tree! It's been a very long time since we had a real tree. <laughs> it's been a long time since we had a real tree. 
time for the shaking of the tree. <laughs> Are you all ready? Yes. Are you all ready for this? Yes. Yeah. Only in the movies does it work perfect. <laughs> oh, that looks so pretty. Maybe one more pound. <laughs> Pretty, look at that. Nice. Yay. And this is what a noble, noble, I can't talk. Noble? <laughs> noble fur. Yes. Yes. Noble fur. Noble. Jeez, I can't talk. I can never talk. Yay, this smells so good. It's a noble fur, five to six feet. Yep. Mm-hmm. I like it. Like it, like it, like it, like it. I think we, uh, we got away with with the taller tree because they trimmed it and I'm six and this see, you have to count the whole thing <laughs> about right here it's about six three or so cool here is the Christmas tree all right let's see let's see what Priscilla does she hasn't noticed the tree Priscilla Priscilla look at the tree what is this what is this, Priscilla? What is this? Oh, she could still get in there and drink the water. She was like, whatever. It's Priscilla's first Christmas. Look at her. Excuse you, she just bit the tree. Look at how pretty. Yay, I love it. Thanks, babe. That's going to smell like real Christmas tree in here. Look at this, she goes. All right, so here is our real Christmas tree. So we decided to make it an angel tree. And we're going to um, put ornaments of our family, our loved ones that have passed away on here. I still have to make them. The only thing is that I can't put too many ornaments because with a real tree, um, it can't really take the weight. It kind of brings it down. It, look at that one. She loves that tree. But um, as you guys can see, I just put some feather boa in here. And I put some of these, like, they look like crystal, but they're plastic. Little ornaments of angels and cherubs. Look at this one right here. And then all these angel wings. And these, my, my beautiful niece found these uh, just a couple days ago at uh, the thrift store that we love to go to and she bought them for me she surprised me with them look at how beautiful so i figured they would i would put them here on my tree so there's there's the one and then here's the other one look at how beautiful and um they're collector's editions so i love them la 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 love them so here's another one of these little cherubs but I'm still going to make some ornaments for this tree with their pictures on them. And look, a harp, because they're hearing the harp in heaven. And then, of course, the crown for our king, that they're up there with our king. So that is our real tree. Look at that one. She's enjoying the tree, the way it smells. But once I get it decorated completely, then I'll show you guys with the lights on. All right, so these are the candles that we picked up at the uh, $8.95 sale at Bath & Body Works. Plus, we used a coupon on top of that. And we well, you can stack your coupons. And we also got our free item. And Hubby went with me, so he picked up his free item. And he got this body wash. And then my free item was this one, In the Stars. It smells really good, so I got the lotion. Um, let's start over here. So... We got French Baguette, my hubby likes that one. Uh, crushed Candy Cane, that smells really good. Cranberry Woods, Winter Candy Apple, Sugared, Snickle Do Sugar <laughs> Sugared Snickerdoodle, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Vanilla Bean, Mint Chocolate, Chestnut and Clove, that one smells really good, that's one of my favorites. Creamy Nutmeg, and then we picked up two of the cham, cham, cham. We picked up two champagne toast, 
I didn't know hubby had picked one up because we were, went separate in the store and I picked one up. <laughs> he picked one up and so yeah. But it smells really good so I don't mind having two of them. Then sweater weather. Uh, peppermint marshmallow. Flannel. And spiced gingerbread. So these are all our candles that we picked up at the Bath and Body Works 8.95 candle sale. So got plenty of candles to last us for a while. All right, so my daughter also went with us to Bath and Body Works for the sale, and I'm going to show you really quickly her candles. So she picked up mahogany teak wood and hot cocoa and cream. Crisp morning air, snowflakes and citrus. So it looks like it says on there. I like the lids. Look at how pretty they are. Chestnuts and clove and sweater weather. And then let's see what else. Cactus bloom. Sorry, Cactus Blossom. I wonder if she already had this one. I don't I don't think she picked this one up this time around. I think she already had that one. But I could be wrong. And then Pumpkin Apple. I think this might be some that she already had. But I'm not extremely... I'm not sure. French Lavender. I think these... Here she might have picked up before, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure. So she has another sweater weather. And then this one leaves. Now they did have these at the sale. And winter candy apple. And I know she has one more that's in her uh right here. Let me show you guys. And she has another one in here that she picked up, and this one is Let's see. Let me get it out of here. Okay. This one is Tis, Tis, Tis the Season. So, those are the candles that she picked up. And, look at, she picked up Priscilla. Look at how cute Priscilla's little Christmas sweater is. With the little hood and the little, little, um, what do you call this? Um, oh my God, I know what these are called. The little pom-pom. But this is Priscilla's sweater for Christmas. So cute. All right. So I wanted to share with you guys really quickly something that I was working on. I was working on this little ornament here. If you guys can see. And um, I wasn't going to do a DIY on this. But I'm just going to show you really quickly um, what I used to make this. So um, I'm not going to actually do the... Uh, tutorial on it. I'm just showing you. So what I used for this ornament is one of these guys from Dollar Tree. So you guys can see. It's the terra terrarium. I can't, <laughs> I can't say it, but it's a terra terrarium planter. And what I did was, um, I used one of these little trees from Dollar Tree, the little two pack. And then, uh, to add these little, I don't know if you guys can see these little balls right there. I had gone to Michael's and they had their stuff 60% off. And I grabbed one of these little picks here. And then I just took out the little balls right here. And then I just glued them on into the tree like that. Then I went ahead and I added a little bit of glue down here. And I put this in here like that. And then um, actually what I did is I put it, I stuck it in there first and then I had the point of the tree coming out of there because I liked the way that looked. And then I just added the glue as best as I could down here to keep that in place. Then also at Wal not Walmart. Then also at Michael's, I picked up this cute little pick, uh, a unicorn pick. And this one was, I think, 60% off as well. And uh, I took him off the stand here. And you can cut this part out too. You don't need that. And then you just position it in there and glue it in there as well. And then I added my buffalo snow in here. And then um, I added like a little snowflake right there. 
and all that is is this pick here that I picked up again at Michael's and this was 60% off as well and then I just cut that and put it right in there glued it in there and then at the top I just had some of this ribbon I've had forever I just made a three loop bow and then I just glued it on there I kept this little thing here this plastic hanger here for that reason so I could you know hang it from there and then there's one of those little um uh, snowflakes and then I just started to use like these little uh, branches that fell off of a garland cutting them down and putting them on there um, I added some of this stuff that I have found at the like see this stuff right here this stuff right here that I have picked up at the thrift store which they sell it in the uh, wedding section at um, Hobby Lobby or Michael's and then uh, some of these branches here that I picked up at Walmart for 98 cents. And then flowers that I found, these flowers, I put these flowers that I found at Hobby Lobby. And I got them when they were 50% off, so I got them for 99 cents each or a dollar each. And then that's it. I just glued it all together, as you can see. And that's what I came up with. I just glued it. Oh, and then I used some of that one, too, that I've showed you guys before. But that's it. I just glued all this together. I was going to do a tutorial, but this is really simple, really self-explanatory. I am working on, I was trying to work on some shabby chic ornaments. As you can see, I have my mess everywhere. And I, look at what I did to these flowers. These are the flowers from Hobby Lobby. I glittered some of the leaves up. Look at these right here. I glittered these guys up. I did those as well. Um, but I don't know. I haven't really been in the mood to do much. But like with these, I was going to do these. And then here's an idea. So these little ornaments I was going to do. You see how what I did here? I was going to do that right there like that. And this, all this is right here is the flower that I glittered. And then this around here are these that I found at the thrift store. And that's, uh, I was going to use some of this too, to these little um, buttons, maybe to put something like, like that. I don't know. But I just wanted to show you that. <sighs> it's, uh, I don't know. I, I may not get a chance to do my shabby chic ornaments. I, I probably will work on them, but at my pace. So that's why I haven't really uploaded anything for you guys as far as ornaments, uh, tutorials on ornaments. But, um, yeah, and then I still have to do the ones for my angel tree. And uh, those are, I'm probably going to do them the same way that I did the ones for Halloween when I did the personalized Halloween ornaments last year. Um, I do have a tutorial on that. So I'll probably do it the same way for my angel tree. I just have to get around to doing it. Let me show you guys my tree in my craft room. Now, I wasn't going to put a tree in my craft room. I was going to do it originally. I was going to do it shabby chic. But my nephew was coming for Thanksgiving. And he was going to stay with us. And I figured I would put it up in, my, uh, in the room that he stays in. And I figured I would do it the Disney one. So this is what I did for my Nicholas. And I put his picture there that he did that when he was in, uh, when I used to foster him, I had, he did this in, um, oh, uh, what was it? He was going to daycare. That's what it was. And actually they just took the picture and they, they did this, but I thought it was so cute. I figured I would put that in there for him. And so I just did a really quick tree for my baby for this room. But anyways, I just wanted to show you this little ornament that I made. I thought it was really cute. And um, yeah, you don't need a tutorial on how to do this. And right here where the horn is at, as you could see, I just glued it onto the edge of the this thing right here. So that's it, you guys. I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog now. And, um, if I get a chance to, to record some of these, then I will. It's just, I've been not just with my issues going on, but I've been really busy 
if I get a chance to do any DIYs, I'll definitely try to record them for you guys. I know that we're already getting close to Christmas, so I apologize for this year's lack of tutorials. So I promise that I will feel better and I will come out with some tutorials next year, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> but anyways, all right. So that is everything that I have to share with you guys. And you're on. Wait, countdown. Three. You're not supposed to say the three. Oh, four. You're supposed to say five. Four. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it's five, four. <laughs> so you go on one? Yeah, you gotta be a rookie. Did you see the roadie that just passed by? I'm recording all this. Are you? There you go again? Yep. <laughs> so we're making little, um, not baskets, but we're doing the pumpkin bread and some cheesecake with fruit, these like canned fruit here on, with vanilla wafers to give away to the neighbors and uh, we're going to do some marshmallows with chocolate and some of these sprinkles and I'm going to sprinkle some of this on the on this tray here from Dollar Tree, this one and then these are from Dollar Tree, but like this, I'm going to put one of these here, a few of these around here and then some of the marshmallows here and then sprinkle that on there and then cover it up. Um, we also have, that's another Santa. That's another, oh wow. It's not a Santa, that was a snowman. But here's a Santa. Here's a Santa. Matt told, I thought you were closing, to, or I mean till 10. Hmm. And oh. then we're going to use these little bows. I might cover the marshmallows in like these or even in like these little truck ones. Don't know yet, but uh, that's what I'm doing. There's Matt. <laughs> what is that? Oh, let's get from in and out. What'd you get? A duffel bag. A duffel bag. That says in and out. Wow, everything has to say in and out on it. Free promotion for our, what is not promotion? What is it? Um, marketing. Marketing. Promotion. Marketing. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> Merry New Year. <laughs> I'm having wine, and hubby made some cranberry, cranberry teenies that he made for Thanksgiving as well. And uh, yeah, they're pretty good. I've had like. One and a half because I didn't finish it and then I'm having my wine. But yeah, this is for the neighbors. Well, a couple for the neighbor and then uh, neighbors and the rest are for your dad's uh, friends. So there it is. Ta da! And for my and I posse. I'm this when I'm wearing these guys. See? My gingies. From nice. Walmart. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Thank you, baby. Cut. Thank you. Thank you for helping me, babe. Thank you. You played all the stuff for my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Your posse. No, you don't you show that sad video. Steak. You're dumb. And here, look. There's that, that, and then the cheesecakes are in the fridge right now. And. I have vultures waiting. Look at this right here <laughs> and right there. And that one there too. Because we already dug into the pumpkin bread. <laughs> See? The extra ones that we have. <laughs> He's getting. This is, this is for my dad. Not right. Dad. The other one is making his tea and getting ready to have some of that pumpkin pie <coughs> or cake. Mm -hmm. He's sick. You need to go to the docks tomorrow. 
<laughs> I overfilled them. <laughs> Get your own bread. Metallica breath. <sighs> ah, tired. Oh, let me show you the sheet, the cheesecakes. I screwed up the first batch, so I had to make some more. So I only got two of these trays here. Sad. Oh, well. I don't know what's with me. I can't bake this year. But, yeah, that's what I made. <laughs> All the goodies. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys really quickly. So I was going to do some ornaments for my angel tree using these guys here. And I picked these up at Michael's. And um, I decided not to go this route this time around. I actually went to Dollar Tree. And I picked up these 4x6 picture frames in white. And what I'm doing, as you guys can see I have a mess everywhere. So I'm still trying to craft here. But what I'm doing is I am just see I'm just covering the white with this lace that I picked up here at Dollar Tree. And I just went around the frame and then I folded it right here and then I brought it back this way and folded it all the way around. I glued it and then I cut pieces of like this branch here that um, I picked up at Walmart. And then I had glittered those roses and um, this is what I'm doing so far to that. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add like maybe back here a string or something to attach it like kind of like an ornament, you know, from right here to hang it on the tree like this. So that's what I'm doing. This is my grandmother, my mother's mother. She just recently passed away. And so I just made copies of some of the old pictures that I have. And this one, I have it in black and white. I was actually going to do them all in black and white, but I just went with the this is my grandfather right here. This is my my nephew that passed away. Um, his is in color. And then here is my grandfather. Um, my mother's, this is my mother's parents right here. And then here are my parents. So I did one of both of them together. And then my father and my grandfather. My grandfather passed away. And then six months later, my father passed away. So there they are together. And then here's an older picture of my mom and my dad. This is when they baptized me a long time ago. I don't know what my dad was thinking wearing that outfit. And then here's one with my mom and my dad. And so I'm going to put these up in my tree. And so that's what the I'm doing here with these guys here. So I have all these different things that I can use, like, like these little buttons here and these type of buttons here. I'm just going to go ahead and, and glue stuff around here using my glue gun. You can use whatever you want, but this is how I'm creating these little um, picture frames for my tree. And so I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest yet or how I'm going to decorate them. But like this one here, I was thinking also maybe putting like gluing some more of this on top. I don't know. I'm using all this stuff here. So we'll see what I come up with, but I wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'm doing this instead of the regular ornaments like this for my angel tree that I decided to um, start doing as a, what do you call that, as a tradition. So, yeah. All right, so uh, I wanted to show you how I tie. I just tied this twine here to the back of the frame like this onto this little clip right here that you'll see right here is that little where you hang it on the wall i just tied the twine on here like this and then you can see hang it like this and then you can hang it like that now if you want to you can just leave them like this plain which i might leave some like this um i just chose these frames for now because um, i wanted to put the pictures up on the on the tree so i ended up getting these frames i did want some really pretty frames for it and i will buy them down the line but for right now, it's going to serve its purpose just to use them as ornaments in my tree. 
and um, you can um, you don't have to glue anything because then after if you want you can still use it see with the stand and they're very lightweight they're not very heavy I might just leave them all like this I don't know but um, I was just messing with the one for my grandma and I really like the way this looks it looks really pretty so and I really like them all in black and white so I may, may end up changing them all to black and white but this is just for now it's gonna serve its purpose you know? You can also use a feather boa. I was also thinking of using maybe this feather boa that I picked up at uh, Hobby Lobby. And they were 50% off, so I got them for, what, a $1.50? It's three bucks? Yeah, $1.50. <sighs> you can use your imagination. But anyways, I just wanted to show you really quickly. So, in case you guys want to do something like this. Here are my ornaments on my mem remembrance tree. And on that one, I just did that. And I left these all. I didn't do anything to these. I just left them like this. Maybe I'll work on them later, but for now, that's, I left them the way they are. But this is it. Um, one thing with a real tree, it's already starting to sag and it's still fine because um, I water it every day but it's already um, with the weight of the ornaments it kind of makes it drop more so as you can see it's already coming all the way down here so I will be doing this with an artificial tree next year and plus I can add more stuff to it so this is it for now just to improv with the um pictures so yeah that's my remembrance tree my angel remembrance tree